hey guys what's good it's your girl marcia welcome back to another video and if you're new welcome and if you're old thank you for coming back and watching another video so this is what i eat for clear skin like i said it's not all about skincare it's what you put in your body and i am cooking some acaline vegan so some of the meals are acaline some of the meals are not so make sure you watch it to the whole end so as you can see your girl is doing a quinoa sweet potato patty and i have some really flavorful ingredients which is some turmeric smoked paprika onion garlic pink salt and black pepper and i added some parsley into that and i'm going to mix this baby up and make it to a patty and this is how my patty is looking look how amazing that looks and i have a leftover so i can use this for a, another dish that you will be seeing if you watch the whole video so yeah it was so good y'all like hands down one of my best meals so i cooked down my kales you kales can be so misleading look at all that kale i had in the bowl and this is what came out but yeah i just sprinkled a little onion powder on my kale and of course you know your girl have to have some plantains oh my god look how amazing this looks i just oh love it chef kiss it was so good y'all and this is considered acaline vegan so everything that is on this plate is grown on god's green earth so nothing is made in the science world it is all grown and you can just buy it at the store um, organic and, and you don't have to get in a can everything is natural and made from scratch so yeah it was so good y'all so I had to clean the dishes because I cannot stand eating in a dirty kitchen it makes I can't eat I can't even function so yeah so the next following day I think or two days later I'm not sure I decided to make me a sandwich so this time I roasted my red onions and then I chopped some avocado tomatoes and i added some kales kales might just be my salad choice for my sandwich because it just gives the sandwich a way different taste than romaine i don't know i don't i've been sleeping on kales but i did a the next following day or probably the next week or so i can't remember what day this was but i did a roasted um chickpea salad so good then i did a mushroom and cauliflower and uh, broccoli um bowl this was amazing so these are all acaline vegan um so far and i just really enjoy it like i said it's not all about what you put on your face or your skin it's what you put inside your body and food like this definitely helps me with my anxiety and stress and depression and all the above so um i wanted to make um this meal again for thanksgiving so but this time i did not do the black beans i did macaroni and cheese so this is the chickpeas elbow pie. yeah so the pasta was chickpeas i did uh daya vegan cheese which i absolutely love so um i did the sweet potato again the sweet potato quinoa patty again so this was actually thanksgiving thanksgiving was really chill this this year i cooked up whipped up something for myself and um i really did enjoy it um like this vegan mac and cheese hands down was so good i, I could not believe i master vegan mac and cheese um so so good so you know your girl had to hit a hiking scene because uh also it's plant-based acaline vegan you can you can definitely put some pounds on for sure <laughs> so i definitely needed to go out and take a walk and i really enjoy like sightseeing and taking hikes and things like that so it really helps me a lot with everything i got going on to de-stress and be at peace so of course let's get into some self-care oh I talked about this wax um, on my last video, so I wanted to do another video, me doing it a proper way, which is me using gloves. Please use gloves when you're doing your wax because you can get like ingrowing hair, and I have gotten ingrowing hair and bumps because, you know, if your hands are dirty, you can just grow those ingrowing hair, and it's not cute. Y'all, excuse the hair is wash day. Your girl had to twist up the hair. I cannot wait to show y'all my hair journey. I'm not at my desired length yet, 
But when I get there, I'm going to put y'all on game because I've been using something for my hair. But yeah, let's get back into this wax. Oh my God. Look at the facial reaction to wax. Oh, it. You know what? I have gotten better with this. I say the more and more you do the wax, the more and more you can tolerate the pain because when I first started doing it at home, it used to take me hours. But now I'm like under an hour doing my wax. But it's therapeutic for me. It's definitely therapeutic. I really enjoy it. I just love self-care, especially if I can do it in the comfort of my own home. Um, and you know, that's what I Am Skin Media is all about. So this is how you clean your wax machine. You just wanted to get some paper towel, use that old stick, you know, that you just finished use for waxing so you can save all your sticks and try to get much as possible you can on the paper towel, right? And once you do that, you're going to add some oil to it and make sure you use an oil that you don't cook with. Get the cheapest oil that you can find at the store. I do not cook with this oil. I'm against this oil. This oil does not agree with my body. So I would never cook with this oil. Um, so yeah, so you definitely want to leave it in there until all the wax melts. So this process may take a while. Um, I can't tell you the exact time because it depends how much wax you're using. And it could take up, I don't know, maybe to 30 hour, depending again, how much wax you use. So you got to be patient with this process, but just put the oil in there and just kind of wait until all the oil melt. And once all the oil melt, you just strain it out and then you take another paper towel and then you just kind of wipe it down. This is how it should look. So you should get, this should be ready for your next use because you don't want to have you know, old wax and new wax, and then you're going to get more bumps. But that completes my video. I hope this was helpful. I hope my Ecoline vegan meals was helpful. I hope you are out there getting clear skin, and I hope you find my video to be helpful. I am here to serve my acne community people because I know how it is. Acne is for the birds, honey, and I'm here to help. And although I still get acne, but it is a lot better, and I'm grateful. And make sure you are true to you, be good to you, you are your skin beauty. Peace.